okay in this tutorial we will learn that how we can make a color detector program within the MATLAB for it first of all you must be in command window section and here you need to write guide after this you will get an option that is create new GUI and you can click on OK now we have our GUI in front of us so go to this text box and click on it now drag it out like this now double click on this static text and write here color detector program okay then go here and write like uh, 28 and font weight must be bold foreground color needs to be in blue okay and this must be some bit dark okay now take one push button this is push button and drag it like that also take one axis in which our image must be shown now right click on this push button go to view callbacks and then click callback here we will write color that dot com uh, we need to place it in like uh, e and new folder okay now we are in the coding of push button one callback so what what whatsoever you will write here it will be executed on the button press so we will write here in oh, first uh, you need to write exes handles dot exes one what this command will do that whatsoever that is any image or any plot will be plotted after this it must be within the axis one and what is axis one this one is our axis one now we will write m show command okay now m show command will show the image in the specified axis but in the inverted commas you need to give the link or path of the file so here we will we have made one color plate file I, I, I will give the download link in the description for all these file so you can download it from here so F thumbnails okay press ctrl V and here we'll write the name of the file that is color plate dot png so first we will see that either our command is working yes now we can see that we have got our image here now just write any variable that is u is equal to m pixel so what it will do that it will give us a cursor and when we will click on any of the color it will give us the rgb value for that color so we are clicking on blue and press enter and you will get this color again we will click on push button we will click on red and we will enter and it will give us 247 
and zero zero that's r g and b so in red it is just red okay in orange it will give us this thing okay so or if we will build a program that is u of one comma one okay and u of one comma two and u of one comma three also write here a b and c so what it means that u of one comma one means first row and first column so it is zero this value then one comma two means first row second column that is this one and one comma three means the last value that is one three three so all the values within the u will be stored inside a and second that is one comma two in b and in c it is one comma three so for blue we know that a is equal to or a is less than 10 okay and and b is also less than 10 and and c must be greater than like 120 and and c is less than 160 and we will write here message box blue color detected so this is our condition for blue color that the first value must be greater than 10 the second value must be greater than uh, must be less than 10 a is also less than 10 and C must be in between 120 and 160. So okay now now and when we will click okay when we will click on uh, this pixel on blue color when we will enter we got that blue color detected. Okay okay now copy this condition control C and control V For red color a must be greater than 200 here you can write that a must be greater than 200 and b must be less than 10 and c must be c must be less than 10 so it will red color will be detected in this scenario red color detected okay now we will do like we will click this we will enter and blue color will be detected then again we will press it and then it is shown red color detected okay now we will apply it for the third color okay now we will see that uh, what will be the third colors value sorry it's uh, yes for it is for orange so it's uh, like a two a must be greater than sorry uh, yes a must be greater than 200 
and and b must be great must be less than 130 and and b must be less than 130 and greater than 100 and and c must be less than 10 because it is the orange color so here so here we will write orange color detected so we will run it and we will press it and so when we will enter it it is giving orange color detected when we press red it is it said red color detected when we will do this for blue it says that it's it's a it is giving us the blue color so hopefully now you can do it for yellow and green and for pink like as yes, i teach you so hopefully you got the concept the program file will be given in the description so you can download it from the link and thanks for watching this video tutorial